the best offensive spells in the game. Period. FOK plus Shadow Strike together will just rip things apart for you know obvious reasons. But even just being Shadow Strike and Blink, it is the most cost-efficient damage output to single units in the game. Um, actually, it's just the most damage output to single units in the game, and it also costs less mana than conventional nukes. Coil, Stormbolt, those all cost 75 mana. Shadow Strike costs 65, and at level one, it's 115 damage. It's 75 plus 50, so 115 damage unless my mind isn't working correctly. No, wait, 125 damage. There you go, brain. 125 damage at level 1. Again, mitigated by here resistance, you're doing 70, 84, you're doing like 87, 88 damage with that. But, uh, you level 2 Shadow Strike, you're doing 300 damage, which is, you're doing basically level 3 Death Coil with a level 3 hero. Plus, you're getting slowing out of it. I guess it means you have to be next to the hero because Shadow Strike has a low, uh, a low range. But it's cheaper, its cooldown is more or less smaller, it slows, you can always blink on top of them, uh, you always have the possibility for Rejuve and Moonwells, the hero's an offensive powerhouse, and being able to pick off single units very, very quickly should be easy. And especially, for example, that timing attack we saw there, where he's like, okay, yeah, I opened up with ghouls, I made some fiends, and now I have an orb, and you sort of saw what was there, he didn't really have destroyers yet, he didn't have, I mean, he, he did kind of bring in a, in a third hero, but... You know, he had maybe like three fiends and an A-bomb and a statue, and that was actually after he allowed himself to macro a little bit, and pick up the orb, and, and, and get his first A-bomb out and stuff. So that was actually a little bit delayed, and he still only had like three, four crit fiends. And you saw how fast Moon managed to pick every single one of those kids off. And honestly, I feel that, you know what, yeah, meat wagons are kind of harmful, it kind of sucks having to fight against meat wagons, your drives will probably die, but that last fight, he just went for the, should have went for the crit fiends anyway, because look, bears don't die to just destroyers. I mean, destroyers will hurt for a while. They will hurt like a bitch. But once they run out of mana, I mean, truthfully, destroyers have the least damage per second output per cost of any unit in the game. They literally do the least damage for anything that would cost 300 gold. Whether you spent 300 gold on footmen, whether you spent it on dryads, <coughs> whether you spent it on crypt fiends, it would all be more than destroyers without orb. Now, of course, everyone knows, yes, destroyers will have orb a lot of the time, whether it's they're sucking up a roar, whether they're chain morphing, what have you, but all I'm saying is, at the beginning of that battle, he did not have destroyers out, which means he had no excuse for losing bears, no excuse whatsoever. He had roared bears, he had a level 3 panda, actually level 4 panda, a level 4 frickin' uh, warden, and he should have been doing tons of damage output. And honestly, all he had to do was, like, sick two bears on one of those crypt fiends, or even just sick two bears onto the frickin', uh, onto the meat wagon, and, and just have them back there doing tons of damage output. Then having the rest of his army, his, you know, six, six or so dryads, his one or two other bears, his two heroes, just Shadow Strike, uh, you know, slow poison focus, and I think Shadow Strike has something like maybe, I want to say 50% at the first tick, has 50% slow, I could be wrong on this, I don't, don't quote me, but you've got 50% slow as well from, from slow poison, and so you, you do the math and you say, okay, level 4 or 5 death knight, uh, 20% dam uh, movement speed increase, the crit fiends are moving 30% slower, plus whatever you're getting from Shadow Strike means that these crit fiends are moving at basically a crawl. You have tons of time to kill these guys. Again, he gets one coil, and he gets, okay, a little bit of healing from the frickin' statue, maybe like four ticks, oh no, 40 health on the crit fiend, doesn't matter, you've got coil that you have to deal with, but after that, you've got Shadow Strike, you've got Breath of Fire, and you've got units, you've got Roared Bears hitting Crypt Fiends. They will freaking die. Exlord did not have a Frostworm, he did not have Destroyers, Bears should have been fucking his shit up. In those words, fucking his shit up. Honestly, this game is rated M, I'm allowed to swear at you, Bears should have been ripping those fiends a new asshole. In all seriousness. And they weren't because he split his dryads off, he split his heroes off, he let bears by themselves fight heroes plus fiends. Shocker, they didn't work. Oh my god, really? And and when he sent his dryads off to go pick off the meat wagons, so what? You have like seven dryads, you know how much damage they could do? Not only are you not getting slow poison now because you're hitting mechanical units, but, but your primary hero, the hero you chose to use Shadow Strike, isn't hitting them either. Because it, you can't Shadow Strike mechanical units, you can't Shadow Strike these statues, these meat wagons, whatever. Now, yeah, if you want to send a bear or two, if you want to send your panda and Breath of Fire them, go for it. And I've seen so many games where the undead must have been pulling his hair out because, oh, here's a panda, Breath of Fire, Breath of Fire, up, oh, all your meat wagons are dead. Peace. That happens, and it's really, really annoying. But 
honestly, I, I, I really feel like Moon missed Micro that battle so poorly by saying, oh, let me, let me use my units in the complete wrong capacity. Now, I realize you might say, oh, but damage types, damage types, piercing damage versus fiends is stupid, and using normal damage when that could be used against fiends is against, and using them against statues and, and, and fucking Miwags is stupid. Well, no, you're wrong. This is why you're bad at this game, and Moon apparently is bad at this game, and I am good at this game very stupid to not kill the units that are actually doing the damage. The thing is, fiends are amazing, and they, they just really are. They have very good damage output, and they're very durable, and if you just have three bears hitting the fiends, he's never going to lose any fiends. And if you rewatch that last battle, he didn't kill any fiends. He didn't kill any fiends. He didn't do shit. He didn't do shit to those fiends. His dryads ran around and, I don't know, masturbated or something, and didn't kill the, the wagons off, at least not before they lost all their dryads. Uh, and honestly, unless you're going to focus your efforts on killing those meat wagons, as in running your dryads and your bears and all your shit past them, you're not going to get those wagons down in time. Uh, I mean, how many elf or human games have you seen, maybe not many, where the elf sends only his dryads to kill the mortars? It works okay. It works okay. But everything else doesn't do it. It just gets owned. Like, it, uh, I mean, the sorks and the breakers are like, all right, my dryads are, you know, your dryads are killing some stuff. Your bears are dead, though. Peace. You kill my mortars, I kill the rest of your army. Now have fun winning dries against 80 food. Have fun with that. So you either send your army and you focus on that stuff, I mean, I mean, more or less basically, because your opponent has what's called statues, which heal a lot of units at once, and your opponent has what's called death coil, which if you half ass try to kill anything, is just going to keep getting healed, means you need, as an elf player, to focus on single units. This is the race that Horus Healing Scrolls in has AoE healing. Don't split your damage output up, you dumb motherfucker. Thanks. Um, I don't know what else to say about that, except obviously Moon is terrible at this game. Um, I feel like Moon... Uh, well, certainly, again, is terrible because, hey, let's lose... Hey, guys, I mean, people make fun of human players for losing peasants to creeps. Okay, but peasants have 200 hit points. Agents of War have 1,000. They have 2 armor. They have wisps repairing them, and they've eaten a tree to get even more repairing. And he still manages to lose the fucking tree. How? How do you manage that? How are you that bad at this game that you're losing one player? That you're losing to the CPU? How bad do you have to be? Honestly. And I've seen so many games where Nettle basically loses. There's a game that was, I want to say winners or check against uh, it was another European undead it might have been Doak um, and he loses his ancient of war to the creep camp and he gets destroyed by the ghoul rush he didn't micro it as well as moon I guess and he gets freaking handed to him by a ghoul rush and he, he loses all his moonwall juice he loses a ton of archers his wardens hurt and basically he has so little map control now because he's so hurt that the undead just expands and then just pushes later on with 80 food of, just, of gargoyle and worm. And it's just, it's just never, ever close to the entire point. A at any point in the game, is it ever close? The end, it has the game the entire time. And I mean, how hard is it to bring one more wisp and not be bad at this game? I mean, honestly, how hard is it to not be bad at this game? I, I, I don't know. But apparently it's really hard. So, mistakes abound for Moon. Um, learn how to creep, number one. Um, number one, learn how to creep learn how to creep. Uh, secondly, focus fire single units. The entire point of a warden is that you can focus fire single units. Slow poison is not great when your opponent can counteract it with um, with unholy aura, but when you tack on shadow strike, the thing's moving at a crawl. You will kill stuff. Um, I mean, the game is capped at like minus 80% movement speed in the first place, so it's not like you can even do any better than that. So, Learn from Moon's mistakes. Don't play like him. Uh, which is contrary to my last audio, which was play like Moon, play like Moon, play like Moon. No, fuck you, don't play like Moon. He's bad at this game. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. And leave me comments. I love you all. I live and breathe and die for your comments. So please tell me how awesome I am. My ego can't handle it if you don't. Okay, bye.